One of the things that we've seen with a lot of the thyroid uh, problems that come with uh, with people who do have thyroid problems is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This means an autoimmune phenomenon attacking the thyroid. You have to measure a lot when you have somebody who has a problem with uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Uh, it turns out that they've got now as many as four different things that should be measured. T3, T4, TSH, and TPO. Uh, there appears to be a redundancy in the immunology of how it's destroying the thyroid so that you have to do a treatment of just the TPO alone as well as the other three things where maybe the thyroid is, is to being destroyed by this autoimmune phenomenon. It may be so, but you must watch them all because if you don't, you will get a goiter. And you'll get a goiter, it's because all the various things that are happening uh, are really bad and they end up with chronic inflammation because of the uh, the redundancy of all the four features, the TPO component, and all the rest. So here it is, and it's it's a article that was uh, published in Thyroid, which is a very good journal. This is from Poland, as it turns out, uh, and this is a very good piece of work. Uh, I in, like it very much because it really caught the real difference we have to think about when we think about thyroid disease. So if anybody's having problems with thyroid disease, we have to attach everything we thought of before, before we quit. And we're in a situation where over and over again we have to stop the immunologic process initially so that no goiter and subsequent things go wrong. So. It's your time.